Agent okay, number 10 has technical challenges but also musical opportunities for us. The very first thing that comes to my mind is in the first bar string crossings which will happen throughout the entire etude and for the most legato feel I recommend entire arm for the string crossing as opposed to fingers or wrists. bar number two, the next challenge is regarding bow management. I suggest we economize a lot during the first four notes and then we overspend on the note that has the accent. So the accent becomes very beautiful uh, and also the left hand can help with that. <laughs> six those accents become a little bit easier because we have a new bow for each time we have an accent so we can use both speed and vibrato again to get the nicest possible sound <laughs> to begin a series of challenges that will again come back a few times throughout the etude and that is to go from a small um, hand and low position to a thumb position where we ideally have a pre-arranged set of intervals as opposed to thinking note by note. <laughs> Here in bar number nine, we have what I would call a caterpillar technique where we expand and contract as necessary as opposed to jumping around. So here is bar number eight before we get into this caterpillar technique. <laughs> number 11 and 12 and 13 have more of the same kind of challenge where we go from here to there and we have to arri arrive in the high positions with a pre-arranged discipline left hand frame. <laughs> challenge I would say begins in bar number 21 and it has a ascending passage that goes higher and higher and higher arpeggio-like and once again what is important in my opinion is that we arrive in thumb position with the pre-arranged hand frame and as we go backwards it stays organized but it's just uh, expanding all the time and uh, besides all that we have the bow to watch out for and uh, besides the issue of crossing the whole arm for most legato I would say to give the etude a sense of peacefulness and calm, I would like to always focus on not chopping off the last note in each bow, but instead to slightly lengthen it. So here's part number 21. <laughs> Another challenge comes up uh, later on, which is going to be by 29. I'm going to get gradually into that. And 29 will have this issue of playing double stops and uh, adding the fourth finger eventually. And for that, uh, it's very important that we have a very adjustable uh, left elbow so we can reach the fourth finger with ease. So now I'm going to start in bar number 25. <laughs> see over the last few bars as an example I, it is nice to use a bit of vato throughout the etude so it becomes a musical quest as opposed to a metronomical uh, correct exercise <laughs> 